Good afternoon, this is Brett Hayworth with Siouxland Public Media News. The Sioux City School District on Monday announced the winner of the annual Teacher of the Year Award as Mary McCarthy of Riverside Elementary School was selected. McCarthy was cited for her exemplary teaching skills, including creating a learning environment that makes it easy to reach students and carry out district initiatives, according to Superintendent Rod Earlywine. McCarthy has taught for 18 years, including at Homer, Nebraska, before coming to work for the Sioux City District in 2012. She's a graduate of Morningside University and also Wayne State College. Each year, the Sioux City District names a top teacher in each of the school buildings. Then the teacher of the year is named in a surprise ceremony. Additionally, the Sioux City metro area has been picked for the fourth straight year for the top spot for per capita economic development by a national magazine. Site Selection Magazine, a trade publication based in Atlanta, on Monday said the Sioux City Metropolitan Statistical Area earned the top national ranking for 2023 for cities that are under 200,000 in population. Bowling Green, Kentucky came in second in the category. The Site Selection Magazine criteria includes ongoing large dollar investments and creation of new jobs. The Sioux City Metro Area includes Lamar's, Iowa, plus South Sioux City, Nebraska, and Dakota Dunes, South Dakota. Additionally, the state of South Dakota was recognized as the top performing state in the nation based on per capita economic development projects for 2023, according to the magazine. Additionally, Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds has announced dozens of Iowans for appointments to state level boards and commissions, including a former state lawmaker from Sioux City on the important Transportation Commission. Bill Anderson, who now lives in Cherokee County, was nominated for the Transportation Commission. Other Northwest Iowans tapped for the state entities include Peggy Law, of Woodbury County for the Commission on Asian and Pacific Islander Affairs, Jim Christensen of Buena Vista County for the Environmental Protection Commission, Matthew Keneally of Woodbury County for the Iowa Lottery Board of Directors, and Gary Langbein of Sac County for the Renewable Fuel Infrastructure Board. Those appointments become official once the Iowa Senate approves the people for those posts. For Siouxland Public Media News, I'm Brett Hayworth. Check out more news and other information on our website, kwit.org.